NATO 12 News exclusive. Amid allegations of police using excessive force, a Valley-based company has developed a tool that it says will keep officers and everyone else safe in an unpredictable and potentially deadly encounter. It's called the Bola Wrap. It shoots out a lasso that wraps around a suspect, restraining them from several yards away. Team 12's Mark Liverman shows us how it works and if it's an effective way to address tensions between communities and police departments. It sounds like a gun, but it may just be the tool that prevents officers from needing to use them. It's called a bola wrap, based on the Argentinian bolero, a type of lasso. It's designed with one purpose. It shoots out an eight foot Kevlar tether that wraps around the suspect and then it restrains them so it can be used very early in a confrontation before it escalates requiring higher level, higher level of force. Tom Smith is president of Wrap Technologies, the Tembi based company that invented this tool four years ago. He says some officers may want to use it initially over handcuffs. And the reason is you're able to stay 10 feet away from the subject and not have to be right up next to him. And using this piece of technology is super easy. It's as simple as attaching the cartridge, hitting the activation button, and deploying. And it's pretty painless. You won't see it. It happens in the blink of an eye that all of a sudden it's wrapped around you and you just have this cord and you're mobily restrained and can't move. So far, it's being shipped to more than 30 countries and it's already being used by more than 200 law enforcement agencies nationwide. But here locally, we have Avondale's already using it. We're going to be doing demos shortly with uh, Apache Junction. Avondale has 11 total bowler wraps and officers there have been using them since May. The department tells 12 News they are pleased with it and see it as another option to de-escalate situations. Smith says Phoenix police may also eventually get on board. I do see this as growing. Uh, I do see its acceptance, uh, especially in the area of, uh, of riots and the things that we're, we're uh, seeing now. Stanley Kephart, former police chief and now law enforcement consultant, says while this tool is beneficial, it should not replace other training. You, we do not have a panacea here with this tool or with any other tool for that matter. It is appropriate and proper for the officers to, based on their training, select the appropriate tool for the appropriate circumstance and then use that tool tactically to their advantage. Smith says in a time where police and community tensions are growing, Smith believes this could save lives. Police are looking for other ways to do their job safely and effectively, not just for themselves, but for their communities. We're in Tempe. Mark Liverman. 12 News.